Hi guys, I come to you with a new painting today. I am so happy that you guys have been requesting to see more painting tutorials. Whenever I put out a new painting tutorial, I get so nervous because I'm like afraid somebody would just make fun of me because I'm such an amateur at painting. Uh, but I'm really happy to hear that you guys have been enjoying these kind of videos and that I somewhat help inspire you guys to pick up a paintbrush and start painting. And the fact that you guys have been tagging me on your recreations of all the past paintings I've done is really like inspiring for me. It really motivates me to keep on painting. So thank you guys so much for, you know, encouraging me to keep on doing this and learning at the same time with you guys. So today's painting, I was inspired by a picture I saw on Instagram and I will put the link on the bottom of this video so you guys can check it out as well. I just love the color of it. I thought it was great for fall time and I thought you guys will enjoy uh, painting this as well. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> So for my first step after I primed my canvas, it's nice and dry and ready to paint. Now I'm drawing a straight line across and in the center of my canvas. This will be my horizon and where I will place the lighter colors. So I'm going in with a very, very light yellow. And then on the outside, I'm going to go with a vibrant yellow. Keep in mind that one side will be the land and the other side will be the reflection in the water. While my yellow paint is still wet, I'm going to quickly apply on the vibrant pink paint so that way I can blend the two colors together. It's now time to work on the clouds. On the left side is the land and on the right side is the reflection in the water. So for the land side, I'm using a dry brush to brush on the wispy soft clouds. And over on the reflection side, I'm making wavy lines so that way it looks like the light is illuminating off the water. Onto drawing the tree. The background is light, therefore the tree will appear as a dark silhouette. I chose to go for a dark purple because I thought the purple would complement with the pink and the yellow hues. I went for a flat brush so that way it can give me more control when it comes to painting the branches and also the texture of the leaves. When it comes to painting the birds, it got a little bit tricky for me. I wasn't exactly sure how I would do it, but then afterward I thought maybe if I add in dots, it will give me some sort of guideline or guidance on where to place the birds. Just because they were scattered throughout the sky, I thought it would be a little bit tricky to match them with the reflection. 
After painting a few of the birds, I kind of got the hang of it and I wasn't so scared or nervous in ruining the painting. Um, so I just painted the birds up in the sky first and then after that I painted in the reflection. Now the great thing about painting the reflection is that you don't need to paint a accurate depiction of the birds. You just have to paint in kind of like a, a light reflection. So it was kind of like more blotchy and it made it a lot easier for me. much for joining me on today's video if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up I would really 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 appreciate it and also if there's anything you guys would like to see me paint or look into then make sure to comment on the bottom of this video or if you have any other suggestions on like pictures or anything like that you can always like tweet or um, message me or tag me on Instagram and I'll have all my social media information on the bottom of this video and if you guys have not subscribed subscribe is totally free all you have to do is click on that subscribe button below so you can get more or see more of my videos in your subscription feed thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week Mwah! ciao